Hi, this is Colin Sandy from Sandy Audiovisual, and I'm looking at the DeviceWell HD video switcher. It is a six input switcher. It has four SDI inputs and two HDMI inputs. Um, it also has a SDI program out, two SDI program outs, um, a SDI multi-view and an HDMI multi-view. Uh, it also has an SDI aux out, um, an HDMI program out, and um, it's kind of a bit odd, but RCA um, stereo uh, in and out. and also has a in and out, which is a 3.5 millimeter or um, 1 8 inch. Uh, in addition to that, it has a tally or RS-232 interface and a LAN connection. Um, both of those mostly are um, not used, but here's what this video is really about. And that is, this switcher is amazing for well under $1,000 US. I can't remember how much I paid for this one, but this isn't um, a product on my usual sales list. Uh, whether device well is sold by any of the other folks we sell, I, I don't know. Um, you know, this might be, a, might be OEM branded by someone else. But in any event, um, this is not endorsed. I just thought this was a great switcher and picked it up mainly to play with it. And it, it works great. It feels great. Um, it has really high-end um, broadcast-style buttons. has auto and cut. Um, overall, an excellent switcher, except it has one Achilles heel. And that is, it has a horrible, and I mean horrible, power connection. So... Um, Here's what I decided to do about it. First off, I took this thing apart so we can see that. Right. And inside are, um, what I'm guessing are uh, four processors here. Two of them are most likely field programmable gate arrays. I'm guessing either from Altera or Xilinx. Most likely Xilinx. Um, this is the pigtail here for the uh, RS, well actually, no, it's for a tally. You can do RS-232 off this too, I'm not exactly sure what the pinout is, but um, it, it's labeled tally RS-232. Uh, it has a little Panasonic battery there to keep your settings stored, but here is the chief offender. This really wonky power connection. Um, no matter what I do, you really can't get a good grip in there. It really should be a locking connector. My first impulse and why I took this thing apart was I was going to modify it for production use, as I do with most equipment. It's kind of prosumer, but really you can't take into the field to do anything serious with because of reliability issues. But um, I had a change of heart and decided not to desolder this and replace it with a locking connector that I'd go super old school simple. And that is... my solution right here. That's it, the high tech, two holes that you see right there under the DC 12 volt that I'm simply going to use to um, put a zip tie through and lock down the connector that way so it can't pop out on you. And that simple, of course, for those of you who don't want to drill into their case, um, you know, you can get a uh, lock and connector kit. For instance, if you drill one hole, you tap it, and then you can screw in a um, zip tie-like fastener to it. But be careful with that because note, if you drill right into it, you'll either drill into the circuit board, you might damage a trace, or you'll drill right into the power connector, I suppose. And there's really no other place you can drill safely, I guess, to the side, right? My bad. To the side, um, I'm touching the screen like I'm touching the thing. To the side, um, between these two screws here, the top and bottom, um, there is, as you can see, um, some room. You won't really hit anything there, but I'm not sure how much of a lock you'd get putting it over there as opposed to right under the connector. So, anyways, keep things simple, right? And this does it. Two holes, put a zip right tie through it. Um, zip down your power cable, and you now have a reliable power connection. You do not want to use this on a live production without fastening that cable down. It is that loose.
I mean, even on first insertion, it, it feels like it's going to fall out. Other than that, um, as like I said, this switcher is great. Um, here's what it looks like on the inside, if for whatever reason that interests you. Um, but again, that is my simple five minute solution. Drill a couple holes in it, put a zip tie through it, lock that power connector down. So your experience with this device will be happiness. Again, this is the device well, and you might see it under some other names, device well HD video switcher. And uh, there you go.